Hello and welcome to TechSeed Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about prototype chain in JavaScript. Now, this tutorial is part of a much larger series on overall object-oriented programming in JavaScript. And if you haven't started from the beginning of the, the series, you can do so. I'll provide a link here of the first tutorial so you can start from there. In last tutorial, we looked at this method called object.create, which enables us to set uh, one constructor prototype to another. In essence, we can extend constructor, basically create a sub constructor from a base constructor by inheriting its uh, property via prototype. And we can create sub sub constructor from sub constructor and so and so forth. So this uh, chain of the prototype, it's called prototype chain. Now to understand the chain, I'm going to create our famous car constructor. So it's a const car equal to function. So here I'm keeping these car constructor empty uh, for a purpose uh, because uh, using object.create, you can actually extend its uh, prototype methods, but the constructor itself um, doesn't get extended. Uh, for example, if you have a classical inheritance where you can actually call a base class a constructor using super that we are going to look at in the next tutorial but this tutorial we are just going to simply understand the prototype uh, chain so i'm going to keep the constructors empty now i'm going to add a prototype method in car called print so i'm going to say car dot prototype and it will have print method here which will simply just say uh, return I am a car all right let's let's create a toy car from this car so say const toy car equal to again it's going to be an empty constructor now let's um, inherit cars methods to toy car by simply saying toy car dot Proto type equal to object dot create and we're gonna set the car prototype here so car prototypes reference is set here in to toy cars prototype and after that we are going to set uh, an additional method so if I say toy car dot proto type print equal to a function and this will simply say return I am a toy car now remember to always set a toy cars method after you set its prototype because if you do it before then uh, this will replace its entire prototype and the print method will get wiped out. All right, since we are making a chain, I'm going to create another a constructor from toy car. And this is, I'm going to call it transformer. Uh, if you watch those movies, transform movies where car becomes a robot and vice versa. So this is a toy transformer. And again, it's a constructor an empty constructor and it will basically set its prototype to toy cars prototype object dot create prototype and again it's gonna have its own print method toy transformer dot prototype equal to function I am a toy transformer. All right, so I have now three constructor. I have car, toy car, and toy transformer. Let's create objects from all three. So the first object I'm going to create is a Toyota, uh, which is a car. So I can say new car. And the second object I'm going to create is uh, 
Lego car, which is a new toy car. And the last one is Optimus Prime. Now this is a toy transformer. So using all this constructor, we have created three objects. And as we know, they all have print methods. So if I call print on each of them, console log Optimus uh, Prime and run it, I would see three different results. I would see I am a car, I am a toy car, and I am a toy transformer. So all three are having different results. It is because each of them got their own print method. And let's look at the Optimus Prime, which is uh, at the bottom of the chain. So I would see the toy transformer, and if I expand it, I would see its print method. And if I expand its Proto's Proto, I would see another print method, which is toy cars print method. And if I expand it further, I would see another print method. This is actually cars print method. So now, let's say if I remove um, the print method from toy transformer. So now, uh, toy transformer doesn't have a print method. And now if I console log simply Optimus Prime, I would see I am a toy car. So because it doesn't have its own uh, prototype print method, it would look up to its uh, creator, which is toy car, and it would find the print method there. So in essence, so now, um, in essence, we have three objects here, Toyota, Lego Car, and Optimus Prime, uh, which are created from three different constructors. And as I said, Toy Transformer is created from Toy Car by setting its proto to Toy Car, and Toy Car is created from Car, uh, Proto. So now, when I call on Optimus Prime's print method, it will first look at itself, finds it, executes it. But let's say if I remove this method from here, then it would look up to its prototype chain and it would find the toy cars uh, print method and we execute it. Let's say if I remove it from here, then it would look it up to cars uh, print method and it would execute. So in next tutorial, we are going to look at how to call base constructor from the subconstructor. And I'll provide a link at the end of the tutorial so you can go to your next tutorial. And I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and provide constructive comment. Thank you.